Fellow Pioneers I've bought you news that I'm sure you've never heard from anywhere before. Do you guys know that this two people I'm about to mention now was once student of Pi Network founder Dr. Nicholas Kokalis in Stanford University? Fellas, these two people I'm about to mention will shock you. So, these guys are one, the CEO of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson. The second person is one of the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin. Guys, this is very shocking to majority of Pioneer, as we all know that both Cardano and Ethereum are one of the biggest cryptocurrency presently. As you guys can see, this is an image where three of these legends, Dr. Nicholas, Vitalik Buterin, and Hoskinson are in the same room having lecture. <sighs> this is so unbelievable. I never even imagined that Dr. Nicholas has ever crossed path with these guys. But seeing this now, it makes it obvious that Dr. Nicholas is not just an average person. On the other hand, Pi Network, which belonged to the teacher, Nicholas Kokalis is still struggling to get to its mainnet. But let's look at it from another angle. It's normal for a student to surpass its teacher in every ramifications. As a matter of fact, that's what majority of teachers wish for. So now, looking at this history that these great men have together, it should be clear that Dr. Nicholas Kokalis, our Pi Network founder, is not to be belittled. He is a great man and has great history in the prestigious Stanford University. As we all know, Stanford is renowned for its blockchain and cryptocurrency programs, making it the perfect breeding ground for innovation in this field. Let's go back to the question of why it's taking so long for Pi Network to reach its mainnet, despite the vast knowledge of Dr. Nicholas in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. The answer is very simple, and at the same time, slightly complicated. Before I proceed to briefly explaining the answer, please take a moment to like this video to encourage us to put more effort in bringing intellectual and on-time news like this to you. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. That being said, I'll proceed with the answer to the question I asked about why it's taking so long for Pi Network to reach. It's main it despite the vast knowledge of Dr. Nicholas in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. The answer I can give according to Sheriff Network opinion is that what Dr. Nicholas is trying to achieve is way deeper than Ethereum and Cardano. Pi Network is trying to make a community whereby everyone will have access and benefit from, regardless of whether you're rich or poor. So we think he's trying to make sure everything falls in the right place before he launches Pi Network so it won't end up like all these crypto that only catch attention only at its early stage. I believe you guys are getting what I'm trying to explain. If you think I'm making sense, say Sheriff Network and Pi Network to the moon in the comments section. But if I'm not making sense to you, well, you can also detail us why and how in the comment section. That being said, I talked about a new project that's trying to follow the part road of Pi Network in a video I made about two days ago. I think it's a very good way for pioneers to join a free project like Pi Network. So if you're hoping to head into a free project that you can mine for free, just like Pi Network, and most importantly, wouldn't waste time to reach mainnet, here is your golden chance to jump on this project. I'm already on it, so I'll drop the link to join my, my team so we can become millionaire together. So, guys, what's the difference between this project and Pi Network, and why is it very necessary for you to jump on this Ive Network project? Give me just two to three minutes of your time to give brief explanation. So, when it comes to open mainnets, Ice Network and Pi Network each have their own approach. While Pi Network has been in the crypto scene since 2019 and is still working on the transition to their mainnet, Ice Network is rapidly progressing towards its scheduled main Nate launch on October 7, 2024. Ice Network's swift move towards mainnet reflects its commitment to delivering tangible results to its community. The open mainnet not only signifies a significant step in Ice Network's journey, but also provides users the chance to fully experience the ecosystem they've been contributing to. Both projects are striving to build a strong foundation for their communities, but the timing and strategies differ. As we await Pi Network's complete transition to mainnet, 
ICE Network is set to showcase the potential of its ecosystem through its upcoming Mainit release. Exciting times ahead for both networks. So let's talk about the roadmap for ICE Network. Phase 1. They plan to start with accumulation and building a micro-community between July 7, 2023 to October 7, 2024. During this phase, ICE Network focuses on accumulating users and building a micro-community. Users have the opportunity to accumulate ICE coins through activities like daily check-ins. The goal is to establish a strong user base and prepare for the mainnet launch. Now, the Phase 2 mainnet launch. This will need starting on October 7, 2024, unfailingly. The second phase marks the launch of ICE Network's mainnet. This is a significant milestone where ICE Network becomes a fully functional blockchain network. Users will be able to use ICE coins for various purposes, including sending, receiving, trading, and making payments. The mainnet launch is expected to bring more utility and value to ICE coins. As of the roadmap, these are the two main phases outlined by ICE Network. It's important to keep in mind that roadmaps are subject to updates and changes based on the project's development and community feedback. Stay tuned for further developments and updates from ICE Network. Finally, there's been online battle about what the future holds between Pi Network and Bitcoin, capturing the world's attention in the realm of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, the pioneer known as Digital Gold, has solidified its position over the past decade. However, Pi Network, a rising newcomer, has introduced a mobile mining model, attracting interest from those new to the field. Bitcoin, with its decentralized structure and limited supply, has created stability. On the other hand, Pi Network focuses on creating opportunities for a diverse community. This sets the stage for an intriguing competition between two distinct philosophies. Bitcoin's consensus and decentralization versus Pi Network's wide-reaching community influence. In the future, will Bitcoin maintain its dominance? Pi Network usher in the next breakthrough. The story continues to unfold, and the cryptocurrency market is sure to witness fascinating developments from both of these models. Pi Network is capable of processing 70,000 transactions per second with a global transfer speed of 3 to 5 seconds. The information about Pi Network's processing capabilities is highly impressive. According to the Pi Technical Team's statement, Pi Network can handle 70,000 transactions per second and its global transfer speed is 3-5 seconds. This indicates that Pi Network has the capacity to handle a large number of transactions per second and enables fast global transfers. During the testing phase of transitioning to the mainnet, the Pi chain can operate independently from the core servers and be managed by nodes. This allows Pi Network to achieve a remarkable processing speed measured by a TPS transactions per second, rate of up to 70,000 transactions per second, and the daily transaction volume can exceed 1 billion. One of the distinct features of Pi Network is its ability to move at high speeds. With a global transfer speed of 3-5 seconds, users can carry out transactions and transfer cryptocurrencies quickly and efficiently. This creates a convenient and flexible experience for Pi Network users, enabling them to easily transfer funds from one mobile dApp wallet to another swiftly and conveniently. The capabilities and potential of Pi Network's processing speed can enhance the user experience and drive the development of the Pi ecosystem in the future. We'll stop here for today. Kindly subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.